What's up, it's Leroy, AKA Roy Lee, AKA Mr. Lean Body himself. Shooting a photo shoot with Pac- What's up, it's Leroy, AKA Roy Lee, AKA Mr. Lean Body himself. I'm back in New York City shooting a sweet photo shoot. Can't wait for these pictures to come out with Patrick Naray and got styled by none other than Ron Swa. Mm. It's about to go down, baby. you know, trying to make ends meet just working at McDonald's. They're just an everyday person, you know what I mean? I used to be a trash man, so shit, I damn near inspire myself. The definition of hard work or, or, or the grind to me is just like putting in time and I feel like, and sacrifice. Like for, for anything that you want in life, you have to make sacrifices, you know what I mean? If you want to get that brand new car, if you want to buy a new house, if you want to get in shape like that, you always got to make a sacrifice. So that's the first thing first. Once you can make a sacrifice and you're willing to give up something to get to where you want or Anything in that nature, um, sacrifice is the biggest thing. And a lot of people aren't willing to sacrifice and that's why they're still in the same position that they were, you know, years ago. And I feel like you gotta have goals. Like if you have no goals, then I don't even know what's like, why would life even be worth living? I really like this whole entrepreneurship thing, you know? Um, my biggest thing that I wanna get into and I've been procrastinating is uh, personal training. Like I feel like, like, in it, like like that to me isn't work, you know? So, um, I, what's the, like the quote somebody said, um, if, you, if you're doing something you love or is, you never work a day in your life, like I enjoy giving people knowledge and training people. So that will definitely be my ultimate goal sooner or later um, is to become a personal trainer. And it may not be to where I'm making 100,000 a year. It may be a job to where I'm making 50 grand a year, but I'll be happy with that. Like I get fulfillment out of knowing that I changed your look and made you happy. So. Um, within the next couple months, that's what I want to get into. I'm real big into fitness and like trying to fight obesity. Um, a lot of people see me sending out these tweets and Facebook messages and trying to sell certain products and they think that it's like a gimmick. Like I'm really big into, I really care about what people look like. You know what I mean? I really care about people's health. So that right there is the biggest influence that I feel like I have on people. And sometimes I'll send out tweets about the t-shirts and watches and people are like, you know, Lee's just trying to get paid. Well, most definitely I want to make some money. But whether you buy my t-shirt or not, I get fulfillment out of inspiring someone to go to the gym. Every time someone tweets me and I tweet out, like, yo, what are you working out on in the gym today? And somebody tweets me back, say I'm doing legs today, lean body. That right there lets me know that they follow me and they're really into what I'm saying. So you don't, people don't never gotta buy a shirt. I mean, it is what it is, but just to know that I got that type of support to where I can, I can ask a question and I get thousands of people that respond like within seconds about what they're doing and, and um, they feel the same way. Just to know you have a following of people that feel the same way you do about a certain topic or, or getting in shape is like, that's my happiness. I got my t-shirts to say, uh, run like you stole something. So when you running, don't just run, run like, like when you stole, you don't stole something before. If you getting chased by somebody, you running your ass off. So that's the way you need to run when you exercising. No lollygagging there. You can't, with, with being lean body, you can't be one foot in, one foot out. Either you with it or you ain't. The hardest part for being me or just, ever being on national TV is the judgment because everybody doesn't like you, you know? And then everybody thinks that you're rich. And then, you know, everybody thinks that, uh, or everybody always has something to say. So you gotta be able to, to ignore certain things and just keep grinding and do you. So like the lean body, with or, with or without TV, I mean, I was always in the gym working out. So now that I got a following, why not, since I have the voice to, to let people know about it and, and give them the knowledge on it, why not? I feel like it's my duty. Instead of sitting up there talking about getting drunk all day. That's just the realness of it. Like, I ain't rich. I, I do these TV shows for the fun of it. I'm not trying to be an actor or a model. I mean, if it falls in my hand, then I'm gonna take it. But for now, I'm chilling. I'll still work a regular job. I'll still go pick up trash. There's nothing. Like, there's, I'm the same person before I went on TV today. When it's all said and done, the way I want people to remember me, Leroy, AKA Roy Lee, Mr. Lean Body, whatever you want to call it, I just want people to remember me as a very hard worker, somebody who's not afraid to step out of the box, guy who's gonna speak what's on his mind, somebody who's gonna be completely 100. And for people that don't know 100 means, that means it's completely honest, completely real. Um, just a man, I'm a man of my word.